And the U.S. stocks closed lower on Thursday as investors closely monitored the escalating conflict in the Middle East. Investors are also awaiting Friday's jobs report for September, which could provide insights into the Federal Reserve's next rate cut. More details in this report. U.S. stocks finished lower on Thursday as investors kept a watchful eye on the growing conflict in the Middle East. The Dow dropped more than four-tenths of a percent, the S&P 500 shed almost two-tenths, and the Nasdaq ended about flat. The volatility index, or VIX, Wall Street's fear gauge, rose to its highest closing level in about a month. With Middle East tensions deepening, along with a strike at U.S. East and Gulf Coast ports, George Ball, chairman of Sanders Morris, believes investors should be cautious. I think that the cautious investor, and cautious investors may be called cowardly, but they often live to fight another day, is going to have a greater allocation to the fixed income markets than they did before. And they're going to invest more and shift their equity holdings toward the value sector and really away from the more romantic AI tech magnificent seven that have driven the markets over much of the first eight months of the year. Investors now await Friday's jobs report for September as they look for further clues about the size of the Federal Reserve's next rate cut. Stocks on the move included Constellation Brands, which fell 4.7 percent after the beer maker maintained its sales and profit forecast for fiscal year 2025. Levi Strauss shares fell more than 7.5 percent after a tepid forecast for holiday quarter revenue underscored the denim maker struggles with sluggish demand from retailers. And shares of Tesla fell, extending losses from Wednesday when it reported that the number of third quarter vehicle deliveries fell short of Wall Street's expectations.